Nominated by the Cape Girardeau Area Chamber of Commerce and former mayor and Spirit of America recipient Harry Rediger, Buse is a, has an impressive list of service contributions, including more than 60 years a member of the Cape Girardeau Area Chamber of Commerce, Cape Girardeau Exchange Club, Greater Cape Girardeau Development Corps, member of the Seymour Redhawks Club, past member of the Copper Dump Society, past interim Ward 6 City Council member, past member of the Planning and Zoning Commission, past board member of SEMO Regional Port Authority, past president of Missouri Limestone Producers, past member of the United States Committee on Mines and Mining, and not to mention his service during World War II and the Korean War in the United States Navy. Booz also has a record in business serving as the vice president of Federal Materials Corp, then Southeast Missouri Stone. The Cape Chamber wrote in its nomination, after retirement, he became even more active, if that's possible. He served this area in numerous non-paid volunteer positions and helped shape both the community and economic development. Mr. Booz was surprised when I told him, I think about a week, week and a half ago, that uh, he was the 2018 selection. Uh, but he later told our reporter uh, in a story that appeared Tuesday in the Southeast Missourian that everybody owes something to the community, just like you owe something to your church. I think that everybody ought to give something back. Well, Mr. Booz, you've certainly given something back, and tonight we're going to recognize you with the 16th Annual Southeast Missourian Spirit of America Award. I uh, was always under the impression that two years in the South Pacific in World War II was pretty rough. And then later I was called to Korea, and then I was in the hard rock industry here in the area. And, uh, is it, is that okay? yeah. But when two fellas, I'll just ask them to stand. Would Harry and John stand just a moment, please? When these two guys get a hold of you and put you through the mill, you know you've been there. Thank you very much. <laughs> but needless to say that the last four days have just been I don't know whether I'm coming or going, to be perfectly honest about it. I was so shocked, never dreaming that I would receive these kind of honors. I uh, don't have a long speech, the one I wrote for six pages and I tore it up. But, any, but anyway, my wife tore it up, really. But, but uh, I appreciate this so much. But I just want to remind all of you, yes, we all owe something to our community, to our church, to our schools and so on and so forth. I believe that. And I, I think that most of us do give something back. There's always room for improvement. But I'd just like to say thank you to everyone. And uh, with that, I'm gonna say good night. Thank you very much.